In this video, we will be doing the saving function. See the consumption function is the function of income that is the change in the consumption expenditure if your income changes. Similarly, the saving function is also the function of income. How your income, uh, if your income changes, what will be the change in your savings? So, we know that your income is equal to your consumption expenditure plus savings. So, your savings will be equal to your income minus consumption. Right? So, your saving is the excess of income over and above consumption during an accounting year which means that from income whatever you are spending on the consumption what you are left with the amount over and above your income that is the savings so saving is the function of your income i told you when your income is zero there is some expenditure some minimum level of minimum level of expenditure right that is consumption expenditure so what do you do you withdraw your savings at that point your saving becomes negative See your income is equal to consumption plus saving if your income is zero. So whatever we let's say your consumption is 20 plus saving. So your savings becomes minus 20 in that case. So your saving becomes negative. When your consumption is greater than your income, then your saving is negative. Right? When your consumption is less than your income which means your income has increased then your saving is positive that is you are saving some part of your income and spending some part on the consumption expenditure so this is the saving function we can show this graphically as well x o y here we take savings I will take income right see when your income is zero you have negative savings right so your graph will go this way this is the level when your consumption at L your consumption is equal to your income so your savings is zero at point n your consumption is greater than your income so your saving is negative this is a negative saving at any point let's say m this is the saving function so at m your consumption is less than your income means your income is more so your savings are positive here you have a positive saving after this point here your savings is equal to zero at this point so this is the saving function i hope you have completely understood this please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us